Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about some new features from Windows 11 24H2. In this video, I've gathered a list of five new features that I personally find interesting or useful. So don't get this list as the best Windows 11 24H2 features because it is my personal opinion. And I think these are five of the most interesting and useful features that we know about so far regarding Windows 11 24H2. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we have the Copilot new animations and also options. And basically, whenever you are copying a text or an image inside the Windows 11 operating system, Copilot will start to animate. And when you hover over it, you're going to have more options regarding that copied text or image. For example, in text, you can explain it. And for images, of course, you have other options such as upscaling and more. I think this is a useful feature, maybe even for students or people in other areas. For example, you have a text or you have a paragraph or something and you don't necessarily know what it means, you can explain it using Copilot very easily, or you can summarize a big text. You have a text for around 2,000 characters, you can summarize it using Copilot very easily, just select it, right click, copy, and then hover over Copilot and you're good to go. I think this is an interesting feature and also could be a very useful one for those of you who are AI fans and will use AI in Windows 11 24H2. Regarding AI, the second feature would be the AI Super Resolution, and this will basically enhance support games to run more smoothly and with enhanced details all of this using AI and I think this is also a pretty interesting feature. I'm really looking forward to testing this out because so far Microsoft is currently testing it as a hidden feature but in the next few builds maybe from the dev or the Canary channel we're going to be able to test this feature even further and see how it actually works. In Windows 11 24H2 we also have a redesigned and a remade Windows setup. So basically the new Windows setup will have most of the old options but of course categorized differently. In my opinion of course I've done a video previously in which I showed you how is the new installer in Windows 11 24H2. I think it is better and way more intuitive for the average user. Of course, it doesn't have any fancy design or anything like that. And Microsoft is also stating that it took so long to implement even on the development phase of Windows because they wanted to make sure that the unintended install would still work. So I think that is pretty interesting. But of course, on the screen, you have some images of how the new Windows setup is looking. In Windows 11 24H2, talking about the fourth feature that I personally like, Microsoft is testing out a new system for the thumbnails in the taskbar. So basically new animations, new rounded corners and bigger thumbnails. I think it's pretty interesting. Of course, Microsoft tested it in a few builds, but right now it is disabled automatically by Microsoft and hopefully in the next few builds, they will improve it even further. Also related to the taskbar, talking about basically the same feature because we're talking about the taskbar, we have a new scrollable quick settings, which is not such a big feature, but I like it a lot because here you can play around with settings, add them, move them, and you can scroll between them whenever you need. Last Lastly, we have some new archiving options that are coming in Windows 11 24H2. So for those of you who don't know, Microsoft has expanded the support for archives in Windows 11. So right now you can extract and use archives such as TarGZ, 7-Zip, RAR and more in Windows 11 by default. But in Windows 11 24H2, they will start to implement more options for compressing in those formats. And I think that is pretty useful. So let's right click on a file. And if we go to compress 2, you're going to have these options, zip file, 7-Z, tar file, and you have additional options. And here in Windows, you're going to be able to select the location or high format. For example, you have here all the format supported 7-zip, zip, tar, and more. Compression method, compression level, faster, smaller. And you will also have, in some cases, retain symbolic links or retain hard links. And you can create it and that archive will be created inside the operating system. So these are five of the most interesting and useful features, at least for me. Please let me know below in the comments what you think about this list that I've put together for this video. And let me know below what is your favorite feature from Windows 11 24H2 that we know about so far. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.